what a lot of people perhaps don't realise is just how much work goes into developing a new play. So whether it's um, Warhorse or Jerusalem or you know, any of those big hits that have been on Broadway, West End, um, actually what people don't realise is both of those plays took a number of years. I know in, in Jerusalem's case it was about seven years of development. So they don't land on someone's desk production ready or very, very rarely. Um, so this was a process that is a very normal process that happens with, with any script where you go through drafts and you go through uh, readings. So John and I went through about 10 different drafts. The main focus for us was it was in getting the more of the poignancy out of the play. It was very, very funny, but we wanted to make it very real and very touching at the same time. Um, we also looked at the structure of the, the play and the chronology of, of the scenes um, and just tight, tightened it all up a lot but you know some some big changes some small nuances that all made a huge difference the purposes of the two readings were to take the work that we had done in isolation put it on a stage albeit with actors just reading it um, and for us to hear it or well me john john unfortunately didn't but for, you know for me to hear it but to see an audience's reaction as well um, and to get feedback from, from the audience. We invited friends uh, of the theatre uh, and we invited volunteers and we invite friends and volunteers to all our readings um, and we also had a number of industry professionals. So a really good mix of industry and lay people which gives you a good idea of where to go if everyone's saying the same thing. Um, and everyone was saying the same thing about the sort of direction that they wanted to see it take. So we really took genuinely all of that feedback on board twice to achieve what is now a production-ready script.